In this session, we're going to take a look at the settings area for EDD. It's quite large because there are a great many options that you can choose for this plugin. Here in the General tab, at the top is Test Mode, which I'm now going to turn on. While in Test Mode, no live transactions are processed. To fully use Test Mode, you must have a Sandbox test account for the payment gateway you are testing. We'll look at payment gateways in a few minutes. But Test Mode allows you to do all kinds of things with your store and to see how it behaves without actually spending any money. Next here you can see where we set what pages have what function for EDD. I mentioned in another session that we could create our own pages if we wished. If you did, this is where you would go to tell EDD where your new pages are. We have one for checkout, success, failed transaction, and purchase history. Next we have currency settings. Your options are quite broad, so you can use this in just about any country. Currency position, before or after, a thousand separator, and a decimal separator. You can use these to make the money output look familiar to your audience. Here we have a section called Allow User Keys. EDD has an API so that you can write software against it, which can access some of the data in the store. Normally, you don't want just anyone being able to do this, but in some cases you might. And so, with this, you can allow every user to create their own API key. This would allow any user to write some software that can access their information on your store. Here at the bottom, we have tracking settings. It allows them to see how you're using the software. And as you see here, if you opt in, you can get a 20% discount code for any purchase from the Easy Digital Download Store. Your discount code will be emailed to you. This can be a pretty big savings if you buy one of the larger packages. And then lastly, remove data on uninstall. Personally, I have found this useful during testing. I'll set up a store, create a bunch of pages and a bunch of products, and then wipe it out, and then create all new ones to start my testing again. You probably don't want this on a production system, because then if EDD gets accidentally removed, your products and your data remain. I'm going to skip payment gateways for now because I'm going to do an entire session on it. And the same goes for emails. But let's take a look at styles. EDD comes with an excellent set of base styles for rendering buttons and product layout and things like that. However, if you need that off so that you can write your own for the cool design that you have in mind, you can simply turn it off right here. Additionally, you can make some minor edits to the buttons that come with EDD. Let's check out the Taxes tab. This is actually a little complicated because taxes are a little complicated. But right here at the top, you can choose to enable taxes or not. This gets us into an area of e-commerce where I can't help you a whole lot. You need to be aware of the tax laws in your city and state. You need to know if you're required to charge tax when selling digital products. A good accountant in your area should know the answers to those things. But if you enable it, you have some options here. You can set a default tax rate. You can choose a base country from which your store operates, which may not be the same country in which you live. And then a base state or province. This option allows you to either enter taxes included with your main price or separate from your main price. And then you can also optionally display tax rate on prices. You can show during checkout. You can show different things during checkout. You can decide when tax should be calculated. And then you can apply additional taxes. So if perhaps you have a state tax and a city tax or a country tax. In our next session, we'll take a look at some of the other settings tabs here.